Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I pray that not a matter of fact, while you're turning there, why don't you just do a road check and check your road. Amen. Your family. Greet your neighbor. Amen. Welcome into the house today. Amen. They made it here. God bless you. Amen. 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 Don't know you're looking at a miracle sitting next to you. Hey. Lord. Celebrate. Well, I like to look around and see my miracle. What? <laughs> when you're sitting next to you in the name of Jesus, do a road check. Make sure they have something to write through. This is no taking time. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God's given you a word today. You need to make sure you write it down. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're starting in the book of Psalms. If you're taking notes, Psalms chapter number. Psalm 16. Psalm 16, Psalm 95, hallelujah, Psalm 16 and Psalms 95, and every other place in between, <laughs> hallelujah, the like pastors are going to be more yes, <laughs> in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, thank you Lord God, Psalm 16, amen, amen, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version, in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. I want you to know I'm being obedient today as I am always, but I'm letting you know that because uh, I, 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 I'm I not a big fan of wearing white. And not just, I'm just not, because I know I'm, I'm, I get messy. <laughs> but you told me to wear this today. Mm -hmm. I better hold on. <laughs> you told me. And if you're like, oh, if you ever, if you pull up in our archives, our very first service ever it, that we had in, uh, I was on Surrey Street in the, like a veterans hall, I had this here white on. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and I got that same white on today. And that's what you choose today. <laughs> we had the power of the I'm just, uh -huh. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. Not that if the, Amen, amen. So if, you're not, if you didn't come expecting, you should have. You should have came expecting. Because God said it's not by accident. I mean, I went through several different outfits is why I was late. It's not that one, not that one. And he said, that one right there. I said, Lord, that's all. Put that on right there. So if I'm underneath the act of obedience, guess what you're about to be on? An act of obedience. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Amen, amen. I hope I prime some of you mothers pump because that's what God's leading for us today. Psalms chapter uh, 16. I'm going to be beginning my reading at verse number 8. In the name of Jesus. I ask that you please stand for the reading of the word. Amen. When I see you standing, that means that you are ready. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord God says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is my right hand and I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh will always rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in shield. Nor will you allow the Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Father God, we thank you for the word today. I'm asking Holy Spirit as you move up and down these aisles, touch every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Hey. And we said amen. 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 Come on, give God some more. Amen. Hallelujah. You are receiving in the presence. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh? I pray that you're taking amen. notes today because there was a word in the house today. The word for today is presence. Presence. Mm. Presence. Like, well, I didn't say present. I said presence. Amen. Amen. And if you're taking notes, the title of today's message is In the Presence of God. Uh -huh. In the Presence of God. We must understand there's many places that you want to be, but I pray today you came to get in his face. Yeah. I pray that you Woo! came to get yeah. in the presence of God. If yeah. there's anything that you need, you need hey. to be in the presence of God. The Holy One. That's why I was like, okay. <laughs> in the presence of God. A presence of your Almighty Savior. The scripture tells us that the Lord God is saying in verse number 11 that he will show me the path of life. 
in your presence is fullness of joy. You see, some of you are asking the Lord God, I need to know what to do. I need to know where to go, uh, how to respond. The Lord God says, when you get in his presence, he will give you instructions. Oh, my God. You're like, wait a minute. I, I, I didn't know. You, you were asking. You've been crying out, Lord God, show me the way. Tell me what to do. Direct me. The Lord God said, if you get in my presence, I will give you the instructions that you need. I don't know about you, but I want to hear from the Lord. Yes. Did anybody come to hear from the Lord God today? Yes. different things. 
And when you're in the presence of God, when you desire his presence, it should be something you desire every day. Yeah. Not just once in a while. Yeah. When you really, when you really serious, yeah. now I'm a priest of the serious people. If you're not serious, then you, this message is going to blow up your head. But when you're serious about serving the Lord God, when you want, you want to get in his presence, 24 seconds. <laughs> Like you never saw anything. 
thing before. I want you to say, Lord God, what should I do? Yeah. I want you to say, Lord God, what do I wear? I want you to say, God, don't talk to me. I want God to say, I'm warning you. When you get in the presence of God, you begin to bring all those things. And Lord God said, that's exactly what I want you to do. Because I'm about to download some instructions. Yeah. See, some of you are in here at this house today, and you're like, Lord God, I need some guidance. Yes. I need to know what to do. The Lord God said, you better get in his presence. Amen. You better get in his presence. Uh, did that mean you need to get in the presence of a holy God? And God says the benefits of that is that I begin to reveal things that were not being revealed. So I'm not about to get some revelation and clarity. Amen. You see, you couldn't see a thing. The one God said, but when you go get into my presence, it's like some scales come off of your eyes. You're like, that's what's been going on? I couldn't see that the one God said, you would have never seen it had you not gotten my presence. Because see, in the natural, you, 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 know, you can't see God. Now, of course, you know what God is spirit. But I want you to know that children of God, whenever you get into the presence of God, you know you've entered into a different place. Am I right about it? Anybody know what I'm talking about? That whenever, whenever you get into your prayer time, I'm hoping I'm preaching to the right type of mothers today and fathers. I'm hoping that you understand what it is to get into the presence of God. Because when you understand when you get into the presence of God, it's not just, there's no playing in there. You, you ain't got time to play. You know, you're like, wait. You know, it's almost like your spirit man said, you've entered. <laughs> all of a sudden, you know, it gets quiet, but all of a sudden, it's like, what? Everything is like yeah, high tuned. You know what I'm talking about? It's quiet, but everything's happening. A cricket can go. You, you all, that, that, that knows you, you're in the presence because God says, I make you so fine tuned, so sensitive to my spirit. He said, because I speak in a still small voice. See, some of you are looking for a shout. The Lord says, I'm not shouting. I'm speaking to you just like that. I come to you as a gentle spirit, and I tell you, this is what you need to do. And see, we're so used to everything being, you know, all over the top. The Lord God said, but I speak in a still, small voice. So what should I do? The Lord God said, write it down. I told you what to do. Remember what I told you? You're like, wait a minute, you're looking for some uh, something in the sky. The Lord God says, I've already given you everything that you need. He said, but now you need to go back and remember what I spoke to you. Remember that I told you that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You need to understand that. I did tell you that there would be opposition, but I did tell you that you are more than a conqueror. Yes. Ooh, come on. Yes. See, when you get into his presence, all of us, see, that's a nugget right there for someone. When you get into the presence of God, God has spoken some things to you. All of a sudden, that thing comes up to the forefront. You ever got a word from God? You're like, Lord God, it's like his laying dormant. Like you hadn't heard it. But all of a sudden, when you get in his presence, the Lord brings it to you. And you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, I remember God. I remember that you said that you're going to take care of it. I remember that Lord God, you say, in your presence is what? Fullness of joy. I remember that you said in your presence, that Lord God, that there were some benefits to being in the presence of God. That whenever there's a healing that's needed, it's come. If there's deliverance that's needed, it's on the way. When you get into his presence, the thing that you have need of, it's already working. Yes. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to repeat that on this time. You, when you Jesus. get into his presence, the thing that you need, it's already in operation. The thing that God wants you to know is that you can, you're in his presence. My Lord. Thank you, Lord. You see, what's missing is that you're like, well, I don't see it yet. How many times, now don't make me tap your hand, how many times I got to say that God is spirit? Whatever God's doing, he does it in the spirit realm first, then in the natural. So if you wait, well, I don't see it yet. That don't mean it ain't happened. Just because you haven't seen the manifestation, you should be praising God like it's already, already done. Hey, Lord. You should be saying, hey, thank you, Lord God. Hey, Lord. Because that's how you trust him. You don't have to see it to believe it. You believe it and you'll see it.
what God is saying, I've given you those things when you were in my presence. So whenever you're in my presence, God does speak to you. God, God does give you comfort. He does encourage you. He does minister to you. When you're in his presence, God automatically does that. But the things of this world will come to distract you. That's why he said it's important that you stay in my presence. Because when you stay in his presence, you're encouraged. Oh my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about? Because whenever you're in God's presence, that's all you that you know, that's all you eat, drink, sleep, breathe. Lord, Lord. The moment that you get out of it, then the things are, are you sure God spoke that to you? You know how the devil likes to clown. You tell you, the moment that you have adversity, I don't think the Lord told you that. But if you stayed in his face, Right. No matter right. what the right. devil would have been to you, and get me behind me safely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get back there. Yeah. I'm not giving you any energy in, in here in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, if you don't get out of my face, I'm going to kick you all over the place. Yeah. Come on, now. Don't come play with my, with my blessings and my promises. You yeah. see, whenever you are staying, you see, that's why it's so important to stay in his presence. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, I'm getting in his presence. I'm getting in his presence. Tell your neighbor, I'm getting in his presence. You see, yes, you understand how too. beautiful that is. The Bible talks You better come on here. Come, come. You're like, well, what does that have to do with me? Mm. I'm glad you asked. Because if Adam and Eve mm. were in the presence of God, they didn't want not for mm. one thing. Yeah. They didn't want they didn't need no rain. They didn't need no food. They didn't need no clothing. They didn't need whatever comes in. See, that's a nugget right there. See, some of you, you missed it, but I pray that you get it about this time tomorrow when you're sitting down with your mother's name meal. But you're like, wait a minute. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute. Yes. And, oh, better yet, oh, I'm going to go on record. I know the devil. He's going to be real hot after that. Matter of fact, you know what sign I am? You know what I'm going to leave? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. What sign? I'm under the, I'm under the sign of the cross. I don't know. I don't recognize them animals. No, no, no. I'm a child of the most high God. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Because the first thing they'll be boasting. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm this and that.